Welcome to the MVP. Man, we podcast, baby. Yeah, we back again. We give you the podcast that only we can give you. You heard? Yes, sir. You're on with your G money. I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to get my light in. I don't know. It's a little dark. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You, you dark in that room, man. You good dark. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes the light be coming in, but. Great man, they can hear you. You know what I'm saying? That's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? They know somebody talk. See now, then it just brighten up. So, mm-hmm. oh, all right, man. You get it together. Ain't yeah. no big deal. When you get the, when you get the new house, you know what I'm talking about? A lot of light in there. We ain't lying. Get the people to update, man. When it's supposed to be done? What's up, man? We still maintaining, holding down for April 8th for the signing. So to sign, you know what I'm saying? Everything. So. We went out last Saturday and I think it was Saturday. Yeah, Saturday and had all the wiring from Home Pro. They came in and uh, making sure we're going to get, you know, updated security system. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it was cool, man. Dope. Yeah. I'm trying to get a home theater in the, in the top, but I don't know. They said we got to have some other wiring for that. So I'm like, man, we already paid the grip. Put it in there. Uh, I'm, I'm about to go Geek Squad. I ain't going through Home Pro because they already they already knocked us over the head. You know what I'm saying? They still see you. They said he he said he ready. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Patricia got something for like uh, fiber optic because they're getting fiber optics and um and I mean it's coming all over Central Texas, but I know Belton is getting it too. So she she got a little box in our in our uh, bedroom. So they can just do the fiber optics when when we when they update it and get it and stuff like that. So yes. yeah, but you know she it man, she be trying to stun on me. I'm like I'm I'm gonna be a hacker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I guess. Sure yeah, but how your week was? You were straight? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, man. Uh, I mean work is work. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, man. I mean I don't think nobody gonna. Uh, tell Marcus, but I, I mean, it'll be exclusive to our show, but I'm going to surprise him on his birthday on Sunday, April 3rd, and drive down, drive down to Houston, so okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and just hang out there, man, kick it with him, so I talked to Catherine, she was just like, yeah, she was like, that'd be a good idea, so mm-hmm. yeah, we're looking forward to that, man, just hanging out with him for his birthday, and then Emma's birthday on the 6th, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I know my goddaughter was, you know, yesterday, you know, yeah. so, yeah, man. People getting old, man. You know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm feeling older because kids and brothers and daughters getting old. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm blessed. So. You ain't lying, man. My daughter's birthday was yesterday, and I'm just like, man, she 13. I know, oh, man. It's like, man, time flying, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it really is, man. Yeah, I just, we just been chilling this week, man. I feel um, you. You I don't know about you ready for the thing? Ready for y'all? Uh, y'all, what's the name? Tell and stuff. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm ready to go in and take care of that, man. Um, I was chilling. I yeah. was like, you know what? I told Kim. I said, man, see how much them tickets is, man. I said yeah. for her to come. I was like, I was like, I'd rather when I, when I come back to the room, somebody there, booty bonanza all night. That's the move. <laughs> You know but I, would, I would rather I'd rather come back to the room to right. my wife than you know what I'm saying yes. the empty room. So I told so I she, she, you. her and Serena um, cool. checked it out. They got some tickets. They're gonna be down there. That's she already know cool. we holler at you after we done with everything we doing. She already know exactly. And you already understand the understanding. So see yeah. that's that's when you've been married for a while and you don't want to be around nobody mm-hmm. too long but your wife. So mm-hmm. I'm 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 getting there, but yeah, I, I learned from y'all and Marcus. So yeah, it's, that's it's like that's smart. That's smart. We gonna we gonna chill, but exactly. you need that grounded. You know what I'm talking about? Like after that's a while, it, after man. when Adrian started getting on my nerves, talking all yes. that craziness. Like, like, man, let me. I see y'all later, man. Let me holler yeah. at y'all. Yeah, I go back to the room. Go see. Go see, see my my happy place. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Exactly. I don't blame you, man. That's that's dope. For real. Hey, man. I, I tried that's the long as I could, yeah. and then the more I thought about it, I was like, "Yeah." Once I get out there, especially at, especially at nighttime, not yeah, just yeah, yeah. not that's just to have sex or anything, but I'm a I'm a right. be like, man, I wish she was out here. 
Exactly. Yeah, you yeah. come out here, chill, do whatever. I mean, yeah. it ain't gonna stop what we doing, but nah, absolutely. You come out here, get you a vacation too. Come out and chill. That's it. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying so. Nah, that's, that's what. Cool, that's what that's I decided cool. to do. Um, that's cool. Hope the fellas don't get mad, but. Ooh, it is what it is, man. They ain't, they ain't, she ain't stopping nothing. She ain't messing with y'all. Yeah, she... they, ain't, they ain't even catching the same flight as us. So yeah, man. They they... Got there before, or after us, one of the two. Exactly. You know, the yeah. holler at them when we holler. Yeah, you know. I think I, I'm. I'm still a little high about Denver. You know what I'm saying? But it's all. Okay. <laughs> I want to go out there, bro. I understand. You know what I'm saying because you already know, man. Uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? But you know I was gonna be. Yeah, but it's all good though. Like I said, I've been actually uh talking to a lady in oklahoma so i can mm -hmm. just, just make that trip you know what i'm saying instead of just Denver. Yeah, but, you know i want the scenery and everything i ain't want to be looking at what i see here in texas you know what I'm <laughs> yeah i feel you but, uh, um, man did i ever tell y'all about um about the union at work no remember you told me you was in in h-town for um yeah. would y'all have like a, a we had like it's like a, it was like kind of like a seminar telling us about right. different stuff yeah all right let me tell you all this story man i went to i was told we had we got a union at work i work for the post office you know what i'm talking about um somebody was like man come out to the union and you know what I'm saying vote for me because they was electing the officials for who was going to be oh, okay. in certain positions right so it's right, like right. come out here and vote for me make sure i you know what I'm saying nominate me so i could be on the ballot to get this position yeah so i was like bet you know what i'm saying they always cool with me so mm -hmm. first ever meeting i ever went to i never been to a union meeting ever first one. first one first ever union meeting i went to ah, i went out there that's crazy and so we chilling they, they doing the little stuff or whatever we mm -hmm. uh, nominated her well i didn't even have to get to nominate somebody else did it so she was in there okay cool. um, they got to vice president mm -hmm. nobody wanted to be vice president yeah I forgot. I missed out a part of the story. I came to I came to the thing a little tipsy. Okay. <laughs> well, um, it was at nighttime. It was at nighttime. It's at oh, nighttime. Okay. It can't be doing work. Oh, so I got you. I'm a little tipsy. I yeah. walk in there. I'm like, boy, this is so dry, man. Ain't nobody clowning. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Like, don't nobody. Why would Are I you come sitting down this? doing this? Yeah, just sitting down. They was it was at um, a Chinese food restaurant. Oh, know, okay. At least it's at a restaurant. God. Yeah, but I, I don't normally eat at them things. You know what I'm saying? I just come. You know what I'm saying? I just come in and chill and do my thing real quick. But this is the first one, like I said, ever I've been to. Yeah. So they went to vice president. We got a president already. I'm like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. They said vice president. I said, I nominate myself to be the vice president. Yeah. Thinking ain't nobody was gonna take me serious. Stop playing, they, bro. They took me serious. They 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 said I nominate Hartman to be vice president. I seconded it <laughs> and, uh, and they put me on the ballot to, to run for vice president. Wow. It, was, it, was, it was it was one other it was a, a guy that just got there uh -huh. so everybody already knew he was gonna lose and he was gonna pick me and i'm like yeah i'm just i was kind of just joking so <laughs> i won i won the thing to be Stop playing president. so you vp so, now huh so you vp now i'm i'm vice president yeah uh, we went to the little thing the meeting okay. and everything like that the little yeah. seminars trying to learn what to do with the un right, and right. stuff like that that's dope once once we come back from the the, the union meeting mm -hmm. um the president mm -hmm. good guy yeah um he got some stuff going on though with him right now oh okay, okay the man quit not just the union he quit the job he quit the whole thing so guess what that make me president the president stop nigga that's only been to like three meetings <laughs> oh, Lord. so I got all these people coming to ask me this, that, and the third. Wow. And I'm like, y'all know I just started going to meetings in like oh. November. Like, hey, you you can do it though. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying, man, but it's I like agree. a lot of catch up. And yeah, right yeah. now we got we got a lot of stuff going on and people. Ain't no resources stuff. you can, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. learn it on the fly besides the meeting. Like they don't got no links for it or man. YouTube videos or they, that's what that's what they said. They got this, that, and third. But it's like gotcha. I'm trying not to just be like forget y'all and leave. Right, right. But because I don't really I, I don't want to quit. I would like to know it just in case something happened yeah. with myself. Of I course, can take care of myself anyway. I don't need nobody. Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie, man. It's a lot of stuff going on right now, and they want me to do all this stuff, and I'm like, uh, I ain't even got time mixed yeah. with with the other stuff I'm got going on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I still gotta, 
I still I called all these people to let them know I'm the new acting president. Right. And I still got to go to the bank and get mm-hmm. like bank cards and all this stuff. I still ain't did that. Wow. It's been like two weeks now. I still ain't did it. I'm like, good luck. So what so what is that all for just for all of Central Texas or just nah, just our office? Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, just our office. I Parker Heights, Colleen, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Coach. I mean, not Cole, Colleen and Harker Heights. Colleen and Harker. Yeah, so you I, got that then. Yeah. I'm the, I'm the union you president. Have, you need to have CP helping you. Shoot. You know okay. how it's, really it's, it's, for, it's for the city carrier. He's a rural carrier. Oh, okay. Okay. So, gotcha. but that's this is what I'm dealing with right now. So, yeah. That's why I'm a little tired because staying, trying to read some stuff, trying to see what's man. going on. Yeah. And still behind because. Mm-hmm. I got like a computer from him and all that stuff, but mm-hmm. like you know, he wiped this wiped the stuff that didn't pertain to me. Right. And I'm right. like, yeah. shit, I don't know how you sending these emails to people and doing all this extra stuff. I don't know how this works. Right. <laughs> you know, ain't real. nobody sat me down and said, This is how you do that, this, that, and the third, or whatever, you, like that. You don't got no other no other president, like I mean, anywhere else that you know that you could kind of call. Yeah, I like, they, they yeah. said I got another guy, Kane. He's been retired for a little okay. while. Yeah, so I'm trying to get his number. I'm trying to see who got his number. But right, yeah. Other than that, and then you, you really don't feel like you want to call people that's retired and start bugging them about stuff with the post office. You're like, nah, man, they retired. ain't doing nothing. They ain't yeah. doing nothing, promise. Yeah, you know I know, but at the same time, you want to respect that man's time, too. You know I understand, saying? man. Yeah. I'm, de- I'm definitely going to have to reach out to some people and see what's going on. Uh, yeah, but he man, probably, he probably waited to call. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I mean, depending on what type of retired person, you know, Mm -hmm. like, but yeah, these last couple weeks, boy, they've been they've been hectic. I ain't gonna lie. I feel you, man. Dealing with different stuff and at work. I told y'all last week about the lady that we got the the new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How she doing? Uh, I just don't say that, man. I just keep. And ain't getting no better. I it don't seem like it, man. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. They they wanted to do at work. They wanted to plan like a, a what's that walkout type thing. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and so I'm I'm the president now. I'm like, oh, yo, well, before I knew it, before I knew what was going on, I I'd right. be like, yo, it don't take nothing for me to call it call yeah. out. But yeah, now I got a responsibility. I feel like I gotta make sure I protect everybody. So I got I call mm-hmm. up the head union people mm-hmm. up in San Antonio, and I right. I tell them the situation. Right. They said, whatever you do, do not do that. <laughs> um, as the post office, we have a no strike clause in the post oh, office. Oh yeah! And they said they might not. They probably won't do anything to everybody, but they mm-hmm. can definitely, for damn sure, do something to the person that started. And they said you can go to jail for that. I said, well, wow. we ain't doing that. I'm telling you, that, that, that's not happening. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It, it, it's getting it's man, it's, it's just crazy, man. I feel you, man. Where you got it, though. You know what I'm saying? I I, I know you. You know. Like I said, you got it, man. You know, I, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see, man. I just, yeah. I, I don't like, I don't like too much drama. And it's know. Like, you in this you position, your job is for drama. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't right. know about all this. I'm, try, I'm trying to pull it. If, if yeah, if you but you, it, but you're you hard in the right place. You trying to do it? You know what I'm saying? Because you, you care about the the people in in your post office and Harker Heights as well. You know what I'm saying? So. And, and, and then uh, I mean my dude that um the president that quit mm-hmm. yeah um we never we I just got cooler with him as he oh, okay. I became the union person mm-hmm. and he's a cool guy you know somebody yeah, I didn't right. we worked together for a while but I ain't know I ain't really holler him like that mm-hmm. and I know okay. like he got he, he got some stuff going on like some mental stuff you know what I'm talking about oh, okay. so okay. it's okay. like I understand what he's going through and I'm like mm-hmm. man. He trusted me to be like, yo, here you go. I can't do this no more, but there you go. And it's like, wow. man, trying not to let dude down. But at the same time, I'm like, well, you ain't here no more either. I'm about to, yeah. I'm about to say, forget this, you heard, but nah, That's true. Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to see, man, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, like I said, just, you know, handle up what you feel you can handle, man. But don't let it allow to, you know, cross that line or, you know, affecting your mental health or your health physically, you know, mm-hmm. or whatever, man. Like, I mean, hey, they, they know what they signed up for, mm-hmm. you know, like, shoot, I got a brief taste. So I, I can only imagine. So, yeah, they know what they signed up for, man. Yep, yep, yep. 
But that was that was a, a look into Franz life. Usually I keep it short and sweet. I don't really say too much. So yeah, y'all got, y'all got a little bit of insight today on what I'm dealing with right now. You know what I'm talking about? More of the story. Don't do don't go nowhere. Don't do nothing out of the ordinary that you don't normally do, especially while you tip. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna make so you're gonna do something stupid. <laughs> Be a whole union president. Yeah, I'm the yeah. whole union goddamn president just for coming to work, coming at Tipsy. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's oh, that's something off a movie, man. You know what I'm man. saying? <laughs> I thought when they told me he quit, I said, "Y'all joking, man?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. He called me. He called me, and then I heard oh, his voice. I said, man. "Yeah, it's over with now." Did he leave right. the area, or he just he just he's quit? Still, he's still here. He just oh, quit. Man. man, I think I mean it's best for him. But if he wanted to come back tomorrow, I will gladly step back and let him do this. That might that might be that play there, Franz. Like, yeah. look, man, hey, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, man. it is what it is. But you know what I'm saying? Shout out if you if he watching. Shout out to you, man. We praying for you. Yeah. Um, hope hope yeah. that everything is, is gets better work, um soon. Mm. Man, good lord, holler at me, my boy. Yeah. Shoot, I'm, I'm out here struggling. Yeah, <laughs> man, get yeah, send you some man. resources, some links. Man, you ain't lying, man. I need to. I'm trying to order some Palisanto or some sage, yeah, and all that stuff. That. All that stuff, get the spray. Phone. That's what I got at my office. Is I mean, they you got to make sure it's legit because people just be selling water in a bottle and saying, Yeah. Bottle. But that's, but that's yeah. what I need. I, I need to, you know what I'm saying? I see you. All that I, stuff. I see you a picture of the one I got in my office. So. Definitely send me that because I, I need yeah. to buy some of that just to kind of cleanse yeah. the air. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it to work and spray it all at work. Shit. Yeah. I don't care. That's what I do. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Whenever somebody leave, spray it. <laughs> <laughs> be spraying that thing. Uh, really. Nah, I want that good though. Appreciate that though. Appreciate that. Yeah. We gonna we gonna get it in. I'm yeah, I'm gonna try. I had a topic, man. I was thinking about it on the way home. It was good, man. You know, I like Prince a lot. <clears throat> Prince, um, cut booty cheek pants out. Prince, does you talking man, about? Man, watch out, man. You <laughs> <got this. laughs> I'm just asking what Prince you talking about. Yeah, the only Prince Prince, Hakeem, right? well, I don't know what Prince. I like his music. You know what I'm okay. saying? I mean, I ain't worried about him being whatever. You know what I'm saying? He he from that Rick James era. I'm not. Yeah, trying. I know. That's cool. Yeah. That's that's anyway. Nice. But I was thinking, man, like, and I and I love Michael Jackson too. Well, too with the with the little asterisks by it. You know what I'm saying? And maybe maybe people gonna come for me. Probably Dwayne more more than anybody. But okay, if R if R Kelly, we we gave our we we made R Kelly make sure that he is held accountable. He's obviously being held accountable now. Mm-hmm. But do you think the fact that if Michael Jackson was still alive and kind of going through that same thing, people would put him in that category as R. Kelly? Because yeah. I think that's and I and I hate to say like, oh, he died, he got a pass. That's the ultimate pass, obviously. But like I started to think, I was like, man, you know, because I like, you know, obviously all songs by Michael Jackson, but like, especially remember the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, rock with you. But I was like, man, would I think differently if he was going through the same thing publicly like R. Kelly? And my answer to myself while I'm driving home on I-35 was yes. Mm -hmm. And with that, I was like, man, I got to take Prince. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know he ain't whatever, but just, and not because he was he was out of drama. Like, I don't know what drama he had, but I don't think it was with little kids, man. Yeah. I hear hear what you're saying. You know what I'm Uh, saying? Michael Jackson, for sure, it would have came up. Um, You remember they did that documentary Leaving Neverland? That's what I'm saying, yeah. Um, And that that kind of came came and went real quick, right? You remember that? Yeah, it ended quick because, I mean, the man ain't here to defend himself. He was found not guilty on every... Uh, he was found not guilty in court of law. I mean, it is what it is. I um, and then they the guys that was coming out there was kind of found to be untrustworthy at the same right, time. Right, right. I got you. So, yeah. There's a whole lot of stuff. I'm not defending either way because I still think it's weird to be you a grown man chilling with little children. But that, yeah, exactly. It, it is yeah. what it is. But to me, you can't 
you can't i mean it's just the music you know what i'm saying I who, who do i listen to me. more i listen to michael jackson more than i listen to right. yeah. um, personal, that's my too. personal preference um mm -hmm. prince got uh do me baby i love that song that is a good song other than that uh, i'm i'm it, it just to me it's just okay um all the diamonds songs and for you, you heard diamonds and pearls huh you heard diamonds and pearls i heard all that great i'm, I'm cool i'm it just it's just all right they 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 sound like um his songs come on movies a lot and stuff like that so they just sound like yeah, movie songs do. like, like soundtrack. Soundtrack. Yeah. During the movie. Yeah. so i'm not mad at it. it's just not nothing i'm about to listen to in the car i, I mean it's more i mean it's, it's not my my age range i guess or I don't know. It's not. Yeah, I feel you on that too, because I I got on Prince early. I'm well late, obviously, mm -hmm. but the, like I said, I was just having conversations with uh with Marcus, and he was just like, "Man, you ever listen to Prince?" And I said, "No, nah, not really." He said, "You ever listen to Prince High?" And I was like, <laughs> I was like "No," but you know what I'm saying. And he was just like, "Man," he said, "You know, I love Michael Jackson, man. You know, I don't know what he did or didn't do with them boys." That's what he said. <laughs> I said, I don't even know either. He said, but man, he said, Prince go hard. And I was like, all right, I'll check it out. But uh, that was probably a couple of years ago, honestly. So I'm probably maybe like five years in Prince, man, to be honest with you. But uh, nah, man, he, you know, I, it was just something I thought about, man. Like how we just, you know, I know it's that culture, but I don't even want to say cancel culture, mm -hmm. none of that stuff. But just in the sense of just like, I don't know, man, like just help holding people accountable, you know, not just because they're musicians or whatever, or we look up to them or we think they're celebrities. You know what I'm saying? Like just what you're doing is, is fine or, or not. But in, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and maybe obviously my opinion may not count, but, you know, like I said, for the sake of the conversation and just, you know, our podcast, it definitely do. So Yeah, I, I definitely respect Prince where he comes from, his artistry. Yeah. All right. that kind of stuff. He, he, what he stood for, exactly. Anything. Exactly. Um, yeah. Just, I just, I'm just not the biggest prince. You just ain't rocking with it. Yeah, the, it's, it's not, and it's not no hate. It's just, I'm just yeah, not, I'm not, I know. Yeah, I'm cool yeah. on yeah. that. Book was on here. I know he'll be coming at me. We'll have a. a you know what I'm saying, you might have to pick this back up. You know what I'm saying? CP was on here. He'll kill you. Um, yeah, you know, that's, that's why I was a Michael like. Jackson fan. I know. You know what I'm saying? Ain't lying. You was not it, lying about that. It's just if I play music, I prefer listen to Michael Jackson. Right. It's, it's um since you're talking about r kelly man it's funny because yeah. r kelly was just in the news um about what what was he, he <laughs> people inmates are calling home and uh -huh. they had this this inmate calling his daughter and his daughter uh <laughs> the, the inmate told r kelly to come sing for his daughter and r kelly uh, she asked hey r kelly can you sing this song he up here he sung like the little part of the song and she was going crazy and then you can hear him like take this loud gasp, like, like he's so tired of singing these damn songs. Like he looked like, like he sounded miserable doing this shit. We couldn't see him, but he just sounded physically. You could hear him. The way he gasped was like, he probably singing to everybody up in that motherfucker, man. Wow. He sounded like everybody have a phone call. He probably singing to everybody. He sounded <laughs> miserable there. That's how. That's how he protecting protecting that's himself. So you know He's like, yo, I, I I give you five songs, man. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I make sure don't nobody touch me. Yeah. He's like, if you'd have heard the way he gasped, he gasped like he is exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> he probably singing, is. You I'm know what not saying? singing another song in this thing. Come on, man. man. You already know. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. No, I didn't hear that though. That's yeah, funny yeah. though. That boy <laughs> kills, man. Yeah. That is the Pied Piper. He's, mm. still, he's still pulling them. Man. Shit. Yeah. I, I it's too fresh for me because I, I just <laughs> recently watched the R. Kelly thing with Patricia. So oh uh, y'all y'all just watched that? I did. She I think she had already seen a little bit of it and mm. finally finished it because she stopped like I guess halfway or whatever, but I caught the end, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, nah. it, it made me feel a way about the parents to me. I mean, yeah, it, it, that too. Exactly. It's yeah, just, exactly. I mean, you're going hard and stuff right now, but it's like you saw the same video everybody else saw. It's like, That's how you thought too. it was a good idea to bring your daughter to this concert or to yeah. bring them around? I, I don't know. It's like, I don't That's know. True. It just seems a little weird to me personally. Nah, I think, yeah, I mean, but that just go with the theme of accountability, man. Like, mm -hmm. you know, 
Like that's the first person, the first people that should be accountable is the parents. Yeah, yeah. it's like I understand you, you want your people to get famous and all that stuff, but exactly I'm not going if I know it's a lion over there, I'm not gonna yeah. bring yeah. Um, I'm not gonna walk in there with meat dangling and think they ain't gonna grab the lion yeah. ain't gonna grab the meat. But like, come on, man. I feel you on that. But I mean, I'm that's no way excusing because I know people jump to conclusions. It's not excusing R. Kelly, but yeah. it's not I'm not excusing the parents either. Like you can't you, know, you yeah. dangle your kids in front of this man, and then he when he did what you knew he was gonna do, then you act yeah. like you didn't know it like it was gonna happen. And you all on TV screaming at a building. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the part, part I saw. That's the part yeah. I saw. Yeah. Yeah. It, it didn't. It didn't make me sit right with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, going on, man. So, uh, man, we got a lot of we. I ain't. We ain't had like a lot of stuff go on this week, man. Nah, not really, man. Like I said, just uh, Kentaji. You know, uh, Brown Jackson. I think of Jackson Brown. I'm not sure. Um, but you know, all those hearings, man. Like I actually had to. I had to talk about it at, at work because um, <clears throat> I'm on a diversity task force or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, but my director in Washington D.C. she she brought it up and you know she was saying you know kind of force yourself to kind of go back and and really listen to a lot of the verbiage. You know what I'm saying? And you know I mean I know like you know I know how it is. Um, but some people, you know, in the group, they they just kind of they're getting introduced to, you know, really how things are. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. like, you know, we know. I mean, but some people don't. Like, I I had a lady on there, and she was just like, you know, she just thought it was politics. But you know, my director had to break it down. Like, like, no, this has been going on for decades. You know what I'm saying? Like centuries. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just how they, you know, just the slick shit of just, you know, saying all oh, lynching or something. You know what I'm saying? Just just certain words, you know. Mm-hmm. She was just trying to really put her on game and, you know, open her eyes, which was cool, man. But, you know, it's just like, I don't know. I, I didn't watch none of the hearings or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, she kind of forced us to. I might watch something on it, but then I, 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 got, a question. I got a question for you. Um, <laughs> You do you really? Uh, you say you didn't listen to none of it. I heard certain. I, piece, I heard certain pieces of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just saw the headlines. That's it. Uh-huh. I saw them giving her a hard time. And yeah, I, I know. I understand. You know the the Republicans going to do that. It is right. what it is. But you don't think it's in retaliation for when the other their judge was up there? And oh, the, absolutely. The Democrats yeah. did the same thing to them. Yeah. So that's why it, it's hard for me. And trust me, I'm the first one to say some some stuff is, you know what I'm saying, racist and all that kind of right, stuff. Right, right, right. But I feel like this is more of just a, a petty party. Like I mean, that's politics in general, though. I'm like, you did you did this when it, it was our turn. Yeah. Now we're gonna make it even harder Absolutely. for you. We're gonna say every crazy thing, and we, you know, we, mm-hmm. we it might be it might come off racist. It is what it is, but we don't they don't care. care. They don't care. They don't care. They don't, don't care. give a damn. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think it's I think it's some bullshit that lady got to go through that. I think they said she was in there for, she's still in there, ain't she? And they still I, doing. I that? think it's over now. I it's think over, it, it's I over. think today might have been the last day. Okay, I think it's, it's like, like two days. Like uh-huh. two days, you got to sit up there and answer all them goddamn questions. I think like, she was in there like three, three days. Three days? I think. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no way in the world you picked the right one because I ain't. I can, I can see me listening to that and listening to these people ask me all these doggone questions and be like, you know what? Fuck it, you had his job, right? You know I mean? Like I don't want it that bad. Like, yeah, what I mean, but it, it does, you know. I guess show her character in that sense. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, it just, you know, it was something I was just thinking about, like when we had that talk uh, in our meeting, and I was just like, man, I said, you know, and I'm like the youngest one in there, you know, so I'm just like, I'm not really like looking for it like that. I see the headline, I saw Ted Cruz was talking crazy, whatever. You know what I'm he saying? Talking crazy. He do. He do. It ain't nothing new. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, I don't get surprised about none of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't either. Like, yeah. I'm just I know, I already know what it is with you. Yep. And then now you got an excuse to do be who you are <laughs> because they did it to you last yes. time. So yep. that's why I'm like, I don't, I don't I see it like I'm being petty first. 
and yeah. I'm gonna get my little digs in while I can. But this is really about being petty because you what you did, you know what I'm talking about. So that's, that's why it is what it is, man. Yeah, you man. Yeah. You know, like I said, shout out to her, man. You know, I, I pray and hope she's able to to make history. You know, uh, especially for Black women. You know, what I'm saying like I that's the only thing I care about, man. Like hopefully she do some justice, you know, and, and do some things right by us. But that is all I care about. I don't care, I, I do about, too. Yeah. I don't care about if you're going to be the first, whatever. I feel I you. care about if you're going to do something and make some change. That's right, that's right. all I give a damn about. Yeah. If you're you going to go up there and fall in line with everybody else, then I can give a damn about you. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? I, I, don't, I don't trust them in that sense, Ross. I, I feel yeah. you. Bro. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's just we got yeah. a lot of people, man. We, 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 we Man, we, we didn't got hung up on the symbolism, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. And, and that junk, it worked for a little bit. You got over on us for a little while, man. Mm -hmm. We not fuck that symbolism shit. You're yep. yeah, I don't care yeah. about that no more. Yeah, you ain't gonna do nothing yeah. unless somebody else have it. Then exactly. let them do it. At least at least I ain't got to look at you thinking, hey man, I thought you was for me. At least <laughs> you, know what I'm you ain't lying. At least this one I know what he on. Yep, I know what he on. Yeah. If yeah. you don't do the same shit, I don't care about your face, how you look. Right. Yeah, but yeah. That's one thing big with me, man. It's symbolism, man. I don't give a damn about that. What you gonna do? Exactly. You gonna do something less work. If I not, then go ahead on about your business. Get yeah. somebody else. Nah, yeah. That 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 just kind of you know, just real quick, that makes me uh just you know, just be thankful for you know Tariq Nasheed and you know, and people like Killer Mike, you know what I'm saying, and Tamika Mallory, you know what I'm saying? All them that just like they not doing it to like this is who they are. That's who they are. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like they don't they don't have to educate us and inform us in the way they do, but they do it and they've been doing it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So just shout out to them, man. So I just wish more of them could get along. Man, you know it's it's ego. You know that from yeah, but it to me sometimes it defeats the purpose of what, what you're trying to do. It's like yeah, it should be more unity. It it. I, be. I agree. I totally. And I understand agree. if you you feel somebody ain't solid. Of course, you ain't got to right, smile right. and shake hands with them and all that kind of stuff. I understand. Yeah. But yeah. At, at what point do we like put stuff aside and be like, yo, this is the bigger thing right now? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Let's. Yeah. Uh, I know you full of shit, probably, <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah, Look, can can you at least stand together and get the the message across? That's it. And yeah, yeah. I like Mike. Killer Mike because Killer Mike don't he do he's too, one man. of those to me that he embraces everybody. He'll talk to everybody. He do, he has a conversation. He do. Yeah, I love that about Killer Mike. Yeah, um, man. I, yeah, I had a dream about Killer Mike, man, last night. Not even last week. Like yeah, exactly. I just met him and showed him my 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 Greenwood card. He was like, "All right, now, brother." You know what I'm saying? Oh man, I got on my wife the other day, man. Wow. Oh, Lord. nah, I'm uh, -uh. I'm I got not on Tim the other day. Nope. Nah, nah, it ain't that. It ain't bad like that. I, I wouldn't <laughs> share it if it was bad. Um, the Greenwood. Um, yeah. We talked about that the other last week. episode. Yeah, she yeah. good. She got the she got the bank account with her. Okay. But cool. Hotel act like she didn't. Um, she didn't know. I'm the one who told her. I'm like, why you didn't give me a card? Stop like, playing. Yeah. So she ain't set me up at all. So now I, I had to she I had to do the buddy. You, right you want me to call her right now? Huh? No, I don't call her. Leave her alone. I think she in class or something. Don't leave her alone. Man. But I was like, how you I'm the one who told you. And then she emailed him talking about how can I add my husband to the account? They talking about <laughs> we're not doing joint accounts right now. So I gotta get my own account. And then I gotta buddy pass it. So I gotta add to get use her promo to get on the thing. And then they said they'll bump me up on the list a little bit, but they don't know how long it's gonna take. I'm like, okay. man. Wow! So, I said, "Okay, yeah, I got you." Till I see Kim, man. I was like, "You can't give me a card to the bank, okay?" Yeah, enough, bro. Banking with the black people and no one just leave me, huh? That's cool. I put you on. Duh. But it's straight. Has she watched Trigger Warning? Yeah. No. Okay. Has she, I don't know if she watched it or not. Is he coming back with another season, man? I love that show, man. I thought he, that show. He was said he awesome. was, man. I mean, but he gonna he gonna get paid next season. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I thought that show was great, man. It, it was. It was real dope. It, man. If people actually look, man, a, a lot of people open their eyes with, with that show, man. You know what I'm saying? You seeing a lot of more entrepreneurship. Yeah. Uh, and it was before the pandemic. You it know really saying? was. Yeah. I think yeah. people got to sit with it, got yep. to look into it, and, and do certain things, man. I, I like that, man. Yeah, I did too, man. It's yeah. funny you were talking about Tariq Nasheed, man. I just, I just yeah. bought his book. 
Um, oh, you got a new book? Uh, he's got his new book. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. I got to read it, man. Yeah. yeah, game in the day. I'm going to read it, see what he's talking about. Because Tariq, boy, so man, he is hilarious, man. He is. He really he is. is. Funny. But, like him and – like I want him and Corey Hope. Do they do they get together? Yeah, they, it, it, um, Tariq been on Corey Hope show before. Okay, I, I mean I know he has, but I'm just saying like I just feel like they need a podcast. Like both of them <laughs> from that. Oh uh, man, Corey, uh, Corey man, too. Corey be wild, man. <laughs> you listen to what Corey be saying sometimes. Corey, Corey shame, you got to be intelligent. You got to be intelligently. Um, <laughs> you got to. You got to be intelligent and have a sense of humor to watch his show. You not not, you that. Take everything that he says is like that's gospel, and it's like no, he is he's saying what he's saying. He's making a point, but then he goes past that point to make it funny. Absolutely, like, you got to catch the in between. You got to see this this style of funny. If you ain't smart yeah. enough to catch that, you would think he talking. He he really serious about half of the shit he be saying. You ain't lying, but but, but that just shows his comedic genius. To be mm -hmm. honest with you, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, yeah man. and they they both need a podcast, man. I I listen to that every day, bro. Man, boy, that had me rolling, boy. When when people be calling to reek sometimes and they be talking crazy, he be roasting them forever, boy. He the wrong one, man. Uh, shit, you crazy as hell. You call to reek, man. I ain't call <laughs> calling call it dude. Lie, man. Boy. Let's talk. <laughs> man, shout out, to, shout out to all of them, man. You know what yeah, saying? man, for real. Shout out to them, man. Definitely, we made it work. We gave you yeah. another podcast, y'all. Absolutely. That's it. Got another one. Me and the boy Greg. Yeah. Oh, if y'all yeah. asking where Book at, Book is on his way to America. He, right now as we speak. He's flying in. He's you know flying. He is in the air. Yeah. Right. He might be over America at this point because even even got, he left last night or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he, he probably here. Yeah. So, so when, he, when he get when he get here? What? Uh, uh, today or tomorrow. Yeah, I think he. I think he did say Thursday or Friday. Mm -hmm. well, nah, so he'll, cool. be, he'll be here. Um, he'll be actually in person. And I got some mm -hmm. stuff in person. That's and gonna be dope. Yeah, man. But shout yeah. out to y'all, man. Thank y'all for tuning in again. Yes. If you, you on it every week. You the real MVP. You Make sure lying. you tell everybody. Remember to share, like, share, and subscribe to the podcast. We keep on growing. Keep on going. That's uh, it, man. Who you know every week. Like clockwork, we are here. You know, we might, we, might, we might be having something coming up too. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. Y'all just keep just keep doing what we doing. Keep yeah. doing what y'all doing. We gonna keep doing what we doing. Definitely, yeah. and we and we vlogging uh, when we out in um L.A. So y'all gonna go on that trip with us? Yeah. We feel like we talk to y'all every week. Y'all are our form of therapy. Yeah. So why not bring y'all with us? You know what I'm talking Absolutely. about? It's gonna. It's not gonna come out the next week. I need some time to edit it. You know what I'm saying? Make it look nice, and I'll, I'll put it out. Don't worry yeah. about it. But we will be on social media, on our Instagram. Uh, we might, we might even go live. Who knows? While we out there, so check us out at the might MVP be. underscore podcast. Check us out. I see how the fellas feel, and we might go live. If you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, go to Manview Podcast at Yahoo.com. We can answer you all your questions, concerns. And on follow us on Twitch and Facebook Gaming at MV Podcast Gaming. That's you know it. what I'm saying? Watch us kill the competition. <clears throat> yeah. I, I gotta hop on there, man. I, I did the training. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, oh no, hell no! You're not getting no Call of Duty with us. Wait I gotta hop play. on there, man. <laughs> we'll play I gotta some hop on there. with you. You know what I'm saying? But nah, that, you know, man. Yeah, I yeah. Short, well, if we short one, you get a spot. But that's what's uh, up. That's what's up. Yeah. Just real quick, who you who you got to uh, win the national championship? Don't care. Don't care at all. Okay. Don't care at all. Right. Well, no, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not a big college bat, college fan, period. Yeah. Football is Jackson State University. Right. I think I told you on this. That's it. That's um, it. I abandoned all of them. Every school, I'm Jackson State. Yeah, um, really Jackson cool. State just hired um, – who they hired for basketball? Um, they hired uh, Who they hired? Dang, I, just, I just saw this, man. Jackson State hired – talk great while I look this up. Nah, you good. Um, yeah, man. Just uh I might be I might be sharing some more, more poetry too, man. Uh, you know, I got uh, some some good things coming up with uh the good listening project, man. You know, y'all make sure they they doing real dope stuff, man. They they on their second cohort or second class, you know what I'm saying? I might have to speak in front of that class and stuff like that coming up. So um shout out to tj too man shout out to tj 
uh, he he got his second book out, man, and you know that boy, man. Yeah, third. Shout out to him, man, for third. real. Third. I'm sorry, third. my bad, T. Third. It's, it's third. You know third. what I'm saying? I, I, um, yeah. Mo Williams. It's New Jackson State. Mo guy. Williams. Mo Williams. Oh, that's good. That's good. Shout out to them. So that's yeah, that's who. That's who I want to win. Jackson yeah, State. Yeah, I feel you. I'm, I'm all Jackson State. I'm Jackson State. Yeah. I got you. Even though they're probably not in it, but Jackson State. Nah, they're not. They're not. <laughs> I don't even. Maybe, maybe, maybe next year with Mo. Maybe next everybody year. was getting busted at the beginning of the thing. I don't man. know who was in this thing no more. I stopped. I stopped watching after the first week, man. Yeah, man. Right. Ayla I loves. I, you know, like I said, you know, I work in Waco, so mm -hmm. people was all upset. I was like, man, y'all chill, man. Y'all won the championship last year. Like, <laughs> Like, come on, man. They want to win every year, man. You know, and that is not happening. <laughs> no, until until Baylor get them Duke, North Carolina recruits and yeah. Kentucky recruits, that's not happening. Yeah, man. Like for real, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, especially if y'all been here this long, man. We appreciate y'all. And until next week, we'll be back at you. It's been the MVP. He's out. Hey. Pray for me. Pray for book. Do everything I can.